Today, we all know that the US dollar is an iconic currency that is recognizable to people around the world. But how much do you really know about the dollar's history? And while we've previously looked at the buying power of the US dollar over time, as well as important events like the Great Depression, we have not looked at the history of the dollar itself. How and why was it conceived, and why do we call it a dollar or a buck? How did the dollar's early history help to shape today's world? Before the US dollar. For the early colonists, currency was a bit of a free-for-all. Officially, cash was denominated in pounds, shillings, and pence, but in reality things were a different story. Cash was often scarce, and colonists needed to be innovative to fulfill transactions. At various points in time, they used tobacco, beaver skins, and wampum in the place of money. Some colonies even tried to issue their own fiat currencies, many of which went bust. As it turned out, the Spanish dollar was often the most abundant form of cash, and this is what led to US currency eventually being denominated in dollars. During the American Revolution in 1775, the Continental Congress issued a money known as the Continental Currency to try and fund the war. The government printed too many, and the value of a continental diminished rapidly. Just five years later, after runaway inflation, the continental was worth 2.5% of its face value. Benjamin Franklin rightly noted that the depreciation of the continental had, in fact, acted as a tax to pay for the war. Holders of the currency, everyday people, were punished by losing massive amounts of buying power. Interestingly, this is where we get the phrase not worth the continental. <laughs>